and B's at the family. Words are made of letter people, A, B, C, D, follow me. The Letter People, today, Sentences, Part 1. Burn my socks. Hey, 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 there you have it, friends and neighbors. The number one song this week at Letter People Land is by Blue Jay and the Redbirds, and it's called My Nest is Your Nest, Baby. Hey, 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 hey. And you're listening to Tom Parker with the morning, all you lucky people out there. And right now, it's time to wake up! Huh? What? Who said that? Who else but terrific Tom Fargo! Oh, darn my socks. And we've got lots of clean socks and rounds of sound from our stack of wax coming right up. But first, it's news time. And I'll hear with all the news that is the news. It's DDT's nose for news, Kevin Merle. Thank you, Tom Fargo. Your temperature is 98.6. This is Kevin Burrell with all the news that is the news. And now the news. In the news this morning, a strange occurrence. Reliable sources have reported three unidentified flying objects in letter people land. Three unidentified flying objects? Three unidentified flying objects. Professor Smart of the Letter People Space Agency has declined to comment. The objects were described as strange-looking creatures hovering over letter people land. These same sources reported hearing voices coming from the general direction of the strange creatures. Strange creatures? In letter people land? This sounds like a job for my super socks. This does sound like a job for your super socks. The creatures were last seen hovering over Center Park. You'd better get over there fast and find out what they want. I'd better get over there fast and find out what they want. <laughs> Miss O? Miss O! Have you heard the news? Three unidentified flying objects have been seen in letter people land. Yes, yes, I've heard. But it's nothing to be alarmed about, Miss Yu. We'll just have to find them and identify them. But the newsman on the radio this morning said they looked like strange creatures and that someone heard voices from their direction. Oh, yes, I know all that, Miss Yu. We'll just have to find out what it is they want. <gasps> Miss O, look! There they are! Run before they see us! Oh, now, Miss Yu, there's nothing to be afraid of. They look like nice creatures. Let's try to communicate with them. <clears throat> Oh, you -hoo! you up there! It's Miss O of Letter People Land. May I help you? Miss O, come on, let's get out of here. But we have to say, we have such well, nice ideas for them. Thanks for the hey, look, everybody down there! It's two more of those Letter People. Looks like the one with the zero is trying to talk with us. I beg your pardon. This is no zero, it's the letter O. And I'm Ms. O. My sound is the same sound that starts obstinate. Excuse me, Ms. I o. also have my long O sound as in the word go. Mr. R and I make the or sound together. Ms. I and I make the oi sound together as in coin. I beg your pardon, And Ms. I make the oi sound in the word joy. May I say... Oh, and then, of course, we all know that Ms. You and I make the ow sound as in the word shout. Excuse me, And Ms. I also make the ow sound with Mr. W as in town. And the long O sound with Mr. W as in show. It's very nice. And but... wow, I make two sounds with myself. The long double O, oo sound, as in the word pool. Yes. And the short double O, o sound, as in look. Oh, my goodness. I'm so proud of myself. That's all very nice, Miss O. But we're not and here... And this is Miss U. Her sound is the same sound that starts upsy-daisy umbrella. And, of course, she has her long U sound, as in the word you. And together with Miss A, she makes the all sound as in haunt. Yes, and of course. she and Mr. R team up to make the er uh sound as in turn. 
And I'm Mr. S, the flying champion of letter people land. It's nice to meet you, Mr. S, and Ms. U. But we are not oh, here today. Hello there, Mr. S. Mr. S makes the same sound that starts super socks. Oh, isn't letter people land a wonderful place to live and work? I'm here for one purpose to find out who you are and what you three are doing in Letter People Land. Identify yourselves. Yes. Who are you and why are you here? At last, a word in edgewise. We are here to help you. Help? Why, we don't need any help. As I said, I'm Ms. O, and I have many sounds. O or R, ah, and Mr. R and I team up to make the or sound, and of course, Ms. U and I team up. Yes? That's all very commendable. And we are all well aware of the many wonderful sounds you all make. And we also know that you can make your sounds catch to make a word. Yes. We watch the catching game on TV all the time. It's my favorite show. But the reason we are here is to help you put words together to make a sentence. What in the name of clue boxers is a sentence? Simple, Mr. S. A sentence is a group of words that go together to form a complete thought. But what do you have to do with making a sentence? Let me explain. My name is question mark. And my mysterious friends with me are called period and exclamation mark. We stand at the end of a sentence to tell you what kind of thought the sentence expresses and how to read the sentence. Together, we are known as punctuation marks. I'm confused. You say a sentence is a group of words that go together to form a complete thought, and that you stand at the end of a sentence to tell us what kind of thought the sentence expresses and how to read the sentence. Now, I suppose, you're going to tell us there are different kinds of sentences. You got it, Mr. S. My friend, period, stands at the end of a sentence that makes a statement. My friend, exclamation mark, stands at the end of a sentence that makes an excited statement, also known as an exclamation. And question mark stands at the end of a sentence that asks a question. And you can tell when the sentence starts because the first word in the sentence always begins with a capital letter. Wow, that is a lot to remember. But how will we recognize a sentence? Practice, Ms. Yu. Practice. Look at the letter you received today from your friend Jan, the track star in Akron. What is the first word? Jan. Can you put the word Jan in clue boxes? Oh, that's easy. I can do that. Let's see. Jan. Mr. J goes in the starting clue box. And um, Jan. Ms. A goes in the catching clue box. And Jan. Mr. N goes in the ending clue box. It pays to know your clue boxes. And the second word, run. Darn my socks. I can put the word ran in clue boxes. Ran. Mr. R goes in the starting clue box. Ran. Ms. A is in the catching clue box again. And Mr. N in the ending clue box. That was easy. I could have done that. Now read the two words together from left to right. Jan ran. Jan ran. Why, yes, it is a complete thought. Jan ran. Watch what happens now. Jan ran. Oh, look, here comes the period. Yes, the period is standing at the end of the sentence. So that means that the words forming the sentence are making a statement. Jan ran. Wow, this is super. Oh, this is wonderful. I can't wait to tell all my friends about my new discovery, smashing. All right, Ms. Yu. What does the next group of words in your letter say? That girl can run. That girl can run. Look, a capital T in the word that. The word that is the first word in the sentence. And here comes the period. 
The sentence is making a statement, so the period stands at the end. That girl can run. That girl can run. Super! By the way, Ms. Yu, can Jan run? <laughs> Very good, Mr. S. Huh? Well, thank you. What did I say, Ms. O? Well, I, uh... You said, can Jan run? <laughs> Watch. Can Jan run? Notice the capital C at the beginning of the word can. Oh, goody. Here comes the question mark to stand at the end of the sentence. So the sentence must be asking a question. Can Jan run? Well, it says here in the letter, Mr. S, that Jan can. Jan can. Jan can what, Ms. Yu? Look, Mr. S. Jan can. And here comes the period to stand at the end of the sentence again. Wrong, Miss O. We need to know what Jan can do before we have a complete sentence. Jan can what? Oh, dear. Well, what can Jan do? Jan can run. Oh, run. Why, of course. And here comes the period to stand at the end of the sentence. Jan can run. But what about you, exclamation mark? How do we use you? Well, let's take the same sentence. Jan can run. See? There's a period at the end of the sentence. So we read, Jan can run. It makes a statement. <laughs> but if we read, Jan can run, then the sentence is making an excited statement or an exclamation. <laughs> uh, that's where I come in handy. See? The exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. Yes, I see it. I see it. Oh, thank you, period. Thank you, question mark. Thank you, exclamation mark. What an exciting day this has been. We've got such great news. Maybe we'll be on television to tell the world. This is Kevin Burrell with all the news that is the news. And now the news. At the top of the news today, Greater Letter People Land is no longer in the dark about those weird strangers in the park. Yes, those strange, unidentified flying objects have been identified. Therefore, they're no longer unidentified. They're now living in Letter People Land. Miss O, Miss U, and Mr. S, the scene in Center Park, reported that the strange creatures actually have names. The Letter People met, question mark, period, and exclamation mark in the park. Together, they are called punctuation marks, and they stand at the end of a sentence to tell us just what kind of thought the sentence expresses and how to read. Check that. Read the sentence. This is Kevin Burrell. Your temperature is 98.6. And visit the family Words are made of letter people A, B, C, D Follow me 